Pendulum Magician time, baby. Let's go. Who's ready for some Pendulum Magician action? I'm hyped for this video. I told you I have 25,000 subscribers. I'll be releasing a broken, amazing Pendulum Magician video. And this video absolutely blew my fucking mind. I think this is the best deck of any Pendulum variant in the whole world. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, every 1,000 subscribers, I release a broken video of everyone's favorite archetype. At 26,000, we will be releasing Odd Eyes. That's right, Odd Eyes Pendulum. So smash that subscribe button if you love Odd Eyes. You gotta destroy that subscribe button so we can release this amazing video. With that being said, we got Pendulum Magicians today. So get ready for some brokenness. Follow my Instagram. Check out your beautiful Mighty Master Iron Man playmats in the description below. Get yours now before they sell out. Let's go straight into the video. Who's ready for greatness? I know I am. Let's go. I am hyped. Let's go. I'm so ready for this. We're going to go as fast as possible because it's going to be a long video. I'm going to try and shorten it to 10 minutes. Now, let's go. I'm going to show you guys a combo tutorial as well as a deck profile. And there's a new combo in town. So pay close attention. So we got Blue Boy over here. We, we're playing every archetype of pendulums in here, bro. This is a, a stacked deck. So we're playing the key to throwing in a bunch of archetypes. We got Pendulum Magicians, Blue Boy, and Demi. We even got a Doctor still in there. You got to play just small engines of each, hence allowing you to get the greatness of the best of each engine, but you don't clog yourself because you're playing small engines. Like, you're going to see now, we're going to draw. You got to play Abductor now in Pendulum Magicians, guys. I'm telling you. So in Pendulum Magicians before, I was not a fan of Abductor because you have three Servant, three Mastery, and it could clog because of Oak Dragon. But now with only one Servant, all your spell cards are useless. Like, they're all useless if you don't open a Servant or a Mastery or an Abductor. You don't have Electrum anymore to get the Servant to your hand. So now you need to open that Abductor or else all the spell cards are just kind of, they don't get the most value. So I see here we have Sloth. Now, it is very unfortunate to draw the Sloth because the end goal is to bring out the Sloth with LP. If you were to draw it, it's not the end of the world. So I thought, what better video to show you guys how to do this when you actually draw the Sloth. As I do the combo, I'll show you what happens when you don't draw the Sloth, which would be 99% of the time. But in the 1% you do draw it, I'm going to show you that you can still do a crazy combo. And this combo is going to end on an auto-win board that your opponent cannot play no matter what. And on top of that, you'll have five cards in hand. Like, that's insane. Like, this is without Needle Fiber, bro. We're going to use Abductor here. Another beauty of Abductor. You play all the Dark Rooms now. We, we, no one would see that play there. No one would see that you have a Pen Call in hand. You have a Duelist Alliance in hand, but no Dark Worm. So no one would see Abductor just searches the Dark Worm. Abductor's versatility is insane. This play wouldn't be possible without the Abductor. Here we're going to add the New Magician. We're going to add a Purple Poison because Purple Poison is the best follow-up to have. We're not too concerned with putting up 90 negates. We're concerned with putting up a board that the opponent can't really play. Maybe they'll spend their entire hand to get rid of it. And then you're going to have your whole 5-card hand to OTK your opponent into oblivion. So, the next line of play here is want to plus and plus and plus. That's the whole point of this deck. You just want to plus. Now, I'll show you guys the ratio of the play at the end, which allows this all to be possible. But we are now going to go into Time Gazer. Now, I meant to put Dark Home over here. So, that was a mistake on my end. Dark Home should be right under the extra monster zone right over here. But anyways, we're going to continue, over, but it didn't matter. It, just in case, uh, you already opened the blue boy. But the reason being is if you want the Crowley and uh, put Crowley over there, so you can still summon the two underneath it. But it doesn't matter where you put it. We're going to go Masquerading here. The Masquerading will be kind of lost for nothing. But you, the extra deck is super tight. So you don't have a bunch of random generic link twos anymore. We just have Crowley and IP Masquerading. And you don't have space for any more because you got to throw in the whole Guard Dragon engine. You got to throw in the actual negates for Pendulum Magicians like Vortex, the Rank 4, the Dw like Dweller, the Dragster, Savage Dragon, stuff like that. So there's not really much space involved there. So here we're going to Pendulum Summon. As you, unfortunately, we couldn't Pen Summon the Empyrean Magician because uh, we needed the high scale. But we're going to plus as much as we can over here. So this is where our Pen Summon is. Unfortunately, the slot we're going to bring out another way. Why don't you guys see what we're going to do here? So we're going to go into LP. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is normally we just go into a Vortex and Appaloosa. So you're going to have an Appaloosa, a Vortex, a Mighty Master, and a Sloth. And that's game. You Normally, you'd have an Appaloosa, a Vortex, a Mighty Master, or a Jackal. So Mighty Master says Jackal, an Appaloosa, and a Vortex. And LP will bring on Sloth. Unfortunately, that we hard drew the Sloth. So now we're going to have to do this play a little bit different. But it's going to help us plus a little bit more. So now we're going to bring out Distrudo, which is the second option instead of if, if you drew the Sloth, and go into an Absolute Dragon. Now you have four monsters. Like I said, the board's going to end on an unbreakable board. So why would you why would you commit more stuff to the board 
when you already have an unbreakable board. So our goal here, especially with Empire Magician protecting some cards, we're gonna have we're gonna go so usually here and just draw for next turn. We're gonna set up next turn. We're gonna put the gate zero back because that's a neg one. If gate zero goes back in the deck, it's a free plus one that you're gonna get, and you still have desires and lots of other plus cards in your deck. Allure. Like, look at that. So, you're just going to plus for next turn. That's the only goal here. So, now we're going to put back some stuff we don't really need. We're going to desires here. The gate zero is at the bottom of the deck. So, next turn, you're going to get it back by just summoning the Dark Worm. Uh, so, you're plusing like crazy here. Uh, next, you're going to you're gonna draw two. You're going to activate Saryuja to special summon the Sloth, adding a 300 boost. You have an unbreakable board here in Mighty Master, Vortex, and Sloth. With Saryuja giving boost to every one of them. And uh, Emperor Magician protecting them all. Now, look at your follow-up for next turn. You ha They're going to be so concerned clearing Mighty Master Vortex of Sloth. You're going to have a Saryuja with three down arrows. Depends on in three next turn. You're going to have an Abductor Search for next turn. Uh, Mighty Master drop back to your hand for next turn. You're going to have Distrudo for next turn. And you're going to have a Gate Zero back next turn. That's not even five cards, bro. That is more cards. My abductor will go back to them by this. Dark you're going to draw for a turn. You're going to literally have six turns. So, ap so after your opponent tries to clear this, which they can't, you're going to have six cards in your hand. Dark Worm's gonna add a gate zero after the pencil. You're gonna have seven cards in hand. That's absolutely ridiculous. Plus zones already, plus a mighty map, plus uh Empire Magician, and your point is gonna deal with th these three. Add it to Strudel, bro. Good luck, have fun. That's game. That's absolutely game. Now, this happens every single turn, regardless. I would love to do multiple comment tutorials on this, but I want to show you guys a deck profile before it gets too long of a video. This is a deck profile. As you guys see, little of everything. That's a secret to mixing lots of decks. As long as you have all the spell cards to ensure the consistency is insane. So the consistency of this deck is even better than than, than, than uh, Endymion because the pen call gets you scales. You have access now to Foolish and Dark War, more pluses. And the it just is so good, man. So the ra ratios, two harmonizing. We got one poison, one collar, one performed by Emperor Magician. Now, uh, there's no Oak Dragon or Dragon Pit in this deck because... A lot of time, the low scale will be Gate Zero, Abductor, or the Servant. So, hence, you don't want to clog too much of the low scales. You don't want to. You want cards that it doesn't matter if they need magicians in the scales. So now, Pen Call becomes even more broken. And if you hard draw any of these, they're totally fine. You have a Purple Poison, which this format will be great because Altergeist and Guru Dragon Caller ensures you get the Guard Dragon combo off in case because there's no Electrum. So Dragon Caller is now extra necessary. And you got the Emperor Magician, which is a protection in the scale and a free plus one. Like I said, the deck plus is like crazy. One Servant, two Abductor. As I said, I love to play three Abductor, but you don't want to clog with, with a bunch of different engines. So we throw in a little engine of each, and it just doesn't clog. It works out amazing. You just cannot brick with this deck. You could shuffle a billion times. It'll never brick. Thanks to the 21 spell cards, Blue Boy counts as a spell. Triple Chrono leaves a spell. You have 24 spells in this deck to make sure your six Servant slash Abductors resolve all the time and with all the draw power you have you have 11 cards here that say draw uh nine of them say draw two you end up drawing your side cards severe mulavgulam denko reboot that just, just system them down that destroy the entire meta so the deck's absolutely insane i love it uh, one mighty master one jackal that's all you need we don't play reflection in this version only play reflection in pure triple chrono one gazer Double Darker and One Gate Zero. I know you're playing Pen Call, but because of Abductor, and you don't always want it, you don't want to really draw the Dark Worm because you, your normal summon is saved for the Blue Boy, and you still need to play the Blue Boy. Electrum's not as important anymore because there's no Electrum. Making a Link 2 before your Pen Summon is not a, a be all end all, uh, or no matter, or else you lose. You already have enough Turbo cards because Abductor will get you the Chrono. So before Blue Boy sucked because you have to make Electrum. But now Blue Boy's amazing because Crowley is the Electrum. So it is the whole end goal here. Uh, one Distrudo, one Sloth. If you banish one off the Desires, the plus cards in Pendulum is too important. Going second, so I still play them. And you only need one Gate Zero because as you guys saw the Saryuja play, whether it's Vortex bringing back the Gate Zero to the deck, or whether it's Saryuja putting back the Gate Zero from your hand into the deck, regardless of the situation, uh, you're still getting the Gate Zero back into the deck to draw next turn. Uh, sloth is the be all end all. If Desires banishes the Sloth, it really doesn't matter. You still have a bunch of negates in here. You still end on Appaloosa, Vortex, Savage Dragon, Jackal, which is still game. Electrum doesn't even affect this deck at all, to be honest. It, obviously, Electrum helps going second, but going first is not that necessary. One Blue Boy Double Secret to Knowledge, one Upstart, one Into the Void. Into the Void is cuttable if you want, but because when you do draw into the void you just put your whole hand onto the field so it's totally fine and i would still play into the void just don't be an idiot check your graveyard if you have into the void it'll be pretty tough if you suck at the game 
I advise taking out into the void in case you don't realize because sometimes you'll have some extra cards in hand, but it's easy to play around. You just go for extra negates on board. It's still worth it to play. Double Desires, like I said, is just worth it to play. Uh, it's not extremely amazing because what if you banish everything, but it's fine. It's totally great. It's a plus one. I'll take it all day. Allure. This deck can outplay Allure because you're playing Pendulum Magicians. Hence, another reason Pendulum Magicians are, might be better. You got all these new spell cards you can play. Triple Allure, Foolish, Shrine. That's 10 new spell cards that Pure and Demon cannot play. Uh, and if Cerberus gets Ash in the Scale, you can't play Cerberus in this deck because if it gets Ash in the Scale, it does hurt a lot. Triple Mastery. You need your four servants. Tri you play four Pen Call. You, I wouldn't even mind playing more. But because hard drawing any of these Magicians are good, uh, it, it's okay. I, I already have enough Magicians. It's fine. One Foolish Double Shrine. If you send the Dark Worm, great. If not, send the Desudo. Send the Desudo does come up a lot. Now, the side deck. Triple Sphere. This is a huge part of this deck of why I want to play this version. Uh, if I'm talking too fast for you guys, lower the speed. We're going a Pen God speed here. So, uh, yeah, pay attention. Triple Sphere, Double Lava Golem. Five cards, Obliterate Spiral. You have 11 draw cards. I understand that they could stack it for you, but they're going to see a sphere mode, and they're going to put it as a third card, right? You're not going to draw it, but then no problem. Allure of Darkness, draw into it. You're still going to draw into the card. So they're still going to get uh, absolutely destroyed, uh, regardless. So Spiral is easy to beat now. Now against all the back row decks, Denko and Red Reboot is just auto win. you got 11 draw cards. Well, you're going to have to... What you, here's what you side out, by the way. A lot of you guys are asking what to side out. And Pendulum Magician shit's easy as hell. You know that you're going to be playing Sphere with Lava Golem. Uh, so you, they require a normal summon. So you take out your normal summon. You take out these four for these five. And I'll probably take out... I'd say Into the Void. No, I'd keep Into the Void going second. Uh, anything you want. Maybe even a Shrine. Because you don't want to draw multiples. Anything you want at this point. I might, might Maybe even, honestly, a, a Harmonizing Magician. Uh, whatever you personally, just one card that you don't, a slot, there we go, oh, perfect, going second is what you take out, going second, you take out these five, for, if you face against a combo deck, you put in these five, if Serial Mode allows them to destroy the deck, you put it in, now, if you're not playing combo deck, and you face a trap deck, you put in Triple Denko, Red Reboot, and an Arch Fiendocentric for these five, and it's just perfect, the synergy is remarkable, now, if a deck does not get hurt by Denko, Reboot, Lava Golem, or Sphere Mode, that means the deck sucks and you already win the duel. To be honest, you don't even need to side. But if it if it's any other deck, it's probably Orcus. I advise against Orcus to side Denko. Because the only way you lose against Orcus is if they eradicate you. But they're not going to eradicate you until you activate a scale. Uh, Seema Reboot. System dies an option if you don't want to play it. Uh, going first, we do play Two Seeker Village. Uh, it is free wins. You don't even need it. But just in case they Dark Ruler your ass. But there are ways to play around Dark Ruler, which I'll explain later. By ending on a... Uh, seal and uh, absolute because you can still seal for cost to uh, vortex away something uh, that can enter battle phase and attack or whatever uh, but seal absolute you'll still get the vortex the vortex bounce the vortex in the gate and you'll still get the seal effect in the grave so even the dark ruler you're fine but secret village is a good card going first so we just played it there anyways and chain of dragon for backward decks now the extra deck we got mascarena and crowley i would love to throw in an extra link too but there's honestly no space at all LP, Triple Burst, Saryuja. If I were to play another card, it would be Pisty. But there's no space. A Seal. You need to play Saryuja, man. It comes up way too often. It, you just need it. Appalooza. I know a lot of you are... Appalooza and this variant, honestly, it, it's okay. If if, Appalooza, if you're going for a super cheap variant, you don't need to play Masquerade and Appalooza. If you guys are trying to play here and you're on a budget, it's okay. The, all my decks could be made budget variant. You don't need Appalooza or Mascarena. They're obviously great to have, but if you don't need it, you could replace them. So you would basically you would replace Appalooza, and you would replace Mascarena with just generic cards for going second. And your new game plan is just start using Turbo and end on a Sloth and a Jackal. So I would replace a Mascarena with a generic Link Two. I would replace this with the Alistair, just a generic Link Two, whatever you want. Maybe even Wee Witch, just a generic Link Two, and maybe a Daybreaker, maybe two generic Link Twos. To be honest. Uh, and you're good. So you should be your go-to link for maybe a boar load. I would probably take out an Appaloosa for a boar load. They're all cheap. Now they're cheap. One seal, one phoenix, one unicorn, a boar sword dragon, absolute a vortex, a dweller, a dragster, and a savage dragon. As you guys noticed in the last board we put up, you only wasted like just the guard dragon package. You still have ten cards left in your extra deck to win. Hence, you want to save the dweller, our dragster, savage dragon, different negates. So after your opponent attempts to clear the board, but they can't, you just pen summon the five cards from your hand in your extra deck, and you go into the other negates. 
So it doesn't matter. It's not like you lose after turn one. That's a deck, guys. I hope you like it. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Got 26,000. We'll be releasing an amazing Odd Eyes Pendulum deck. Go follow my Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.